Hello, my lovely YouTubers. So it's been a little bit of a while. I have been really busy with my raised beds and my garden. I just put all of my tomatoes out. I also did some landscaping, pulled out some old bushes that were just an eyesore to me and put in some new things that I'm pretty excited about and some things that died and I had to replace. So I'm still learning what plants do well in my sort of landscape. I've only been living in this house for three years. So it's a little bit of an adjustment period trying to find things that work and things that don't work. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been super busy. I also just got back from a wedding in Dallas, Texas. So I was traveling. So that's why I've been kind of, you know, MIA. But I am back and I'm ready to do lots and lots of videos for you guys. I'm super excited. I have lots of things coming out. I'm so excited. Uh, I want to show you something that I got in Dallas in this video. I also have a couple of updates, some good updates and some bad updates. So maybe we should start with the bad news first and move to the good news. Okay, so bad news first, and it's really, really bad news. <gasps> I don't even want to show you guys because it's just so ugly. Um, this is one of my Noid Phalaenopsis that I picked up off the clearance rack, and it's just so sad looking. It has this one bud that is open, as you can see, and then two other buds getting ready to open, but it actually blasted the two on the end here. And I feel like the spike is half the size that it was when I first bought it. So I'm sure it has to do with the fertilizing aspect. I haven't been fertilizing this orchid. And also to do with temperature and all of that, you know, fun stuff. But really... Why even try then? Why? Why even throw out a spike? Like, just no. Just don't put out a spike unless you're going to put out something that's, like, worthwhile. It's so just... And I don't even like Phalaenopsis, so when I get a Phalaenopsis that's, like, and throws out, like, this kind of bullshit, then I get really angry. Because... You know, I don't like keeping orchids that don't pull their weight, you know, because I put forth effort, so you should put forth some effort, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like when you work really hard on something, and then it just, here you go, here's these three buds that I put out for you. Like, no, don't even try. Don't even try. So I'm probably going to cut this thing off because it's ugly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I try to find beauty in everything, but this is just, this is sad. This is pathetic. I, I just, I don't even know what to do with this. So, and because Phalaenopsis blooms last so long, I'd have to stare at this for the next month. And just every time I look at it, I would be like, why did you even try? Next update that I have for you guys is like sort of a step up. I've been told that this is Dendrobium delicatum, delicatum, I'm not sure. And the tag says Dendrobium kingianum, so your guess is as good as mine. It does look a lot like the Delicatum, um, so I don't know. I don't know who to trust. You know, do I trust the tag or do I trust, you know, some random person on the internet? Uh, but this is Dendrobium something. I mean, it's, it's some sort of Dendrobium. I was told that if it has a spicy fragrance that it's Delicatum. And if it has a sweet smelling fragrance, <laughs> sweet smelling fragrance like Kingianum, um, then it's a Kingianum. I I don't know. You guys can make your own opinions. That is the flowers right there. It's super super pretty, and I just touched a whole bunch of happy sap. Ooh, it's so sticky. But anyways, this is Dendrobium something or other, and it's a first bloom off of this Kiki that I got. And whether it's a Kingianum or a Delicatum, I will love it regardless, has a really sweet smelling rose fragrance. I've smelled spicy fragrances like on my Latoria type Dendrobiums, but this definitely has a sweet smelling fragrance. So 
I'm thinking that the tag is right and it's a Kingianum, but I'm not a Dendrobium expert. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I'll probably have this as the picture so you guys can, you know, see it better because I'm, you know, shaking it all over the place. Next thing that I have to show you guys is the orchid that I purchased from Big Leaf Orchids in Dallas, Texas. It's just outside of Dallas. I was there for a wedding and I was like, oh, maybe there's an orchid nursery nearby. And I've heard of Big Leaf Orchids, but I thought it was like an actual nursery. Turns out it is a hobby grower who sells his orchids his excess ones to sort of pay for his addiction, a man after my own heart. I was laughing the entire time he was talking because it sounded like everything that I would say that he had to sell his orchids to, you know, keep his addiction going and he had to get rid of the ones that he used to love but now doesn't love so much and it, I feel like that's gonna be me. That's, that's gonna be me. So anyways, it was, uh, awesome. I got to go. I set up an appointment, which you have to set up an appointment, obviously, because the greenhouse is in his backyard. And there was actually somebody else that sent up an appointment as well, so that is why I did not film it. I thought it would be kind of awkward, me and this other stranger. I don't know. So I didn't film, um, but my mom, who was with me, she was saying, film, just film, just film, it'll be great. And I couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't film. So anyways, I was too, like, honed in on the orchids anyways to film. So yeah, I didn't film, but his greenhouse is amazing. If you're in the area, you should definitely go check it out. Peter Lynn is an awesome person and has really excellent plants. They're all very, very healthy. So the one that I purchased wasn't even going to purchase it because you guys know I'm just not that big a fan of Phalaenopsis. But this one in particular caught my eye and I just had to have it. He had gotten an awarded plant. This one is actually the, it's out of the same crop of seedlings. So it's a seedling grown plant, meaning it's probably not going to look anything like the awarded plant, but that's okay. You know, I like Christmas surprises love surprises. So hopefully this one will be as good, maybe better, maybe better. I hope so. Um, but either way, it has a citrus fragrance. All of the seedlings did. So the ones that were blooming had a citrus fragrance and his awarded plant had a citrus fragrance. Um, so this is the one that I picked up. It is Pilo's Green Gelb. And it's so cute. He names almost all of his orchids after his little Pomeranian whose name is Pilo. So I thought that was really adorable. This is Pilo's Green Gelb. So he's got a really good website. That's where you can purchase his orchids. And they're all very, very healthy. He packages them really well. I saw where he packaged them. And I'm very excited to see what this one will look like when it blooms. So I will keep you guys updated. So that's pretty much all I have going on in my collection right now. I showed you the ones that are blooming, but I do have some that are in sheath and in spike and new growths on everything. So I'm expecting lots of big glorious blooms by summertime, hopefully fingers crossed. So yeah, I have something of an announcement to make and I feel really conceited even mentioning it because I don't feel like that, I don't feel like my channel is that large or glorious. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm glorious, but I don't feel like my channel is, you know, that large enough to even warrant this, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. You guys can throw it back in the face. But I've gotten two requests, so I figured, you know, maybe it's worth mentioning and then I'll never mention it again. I am trying out this thing. I have a P.O. box. You are more than welcome to send fan mail or, you know, whatever, as long as it's not flaming dog turds or something. I'm completely fine with whatever you guys want to send me because I've had the two requests to send mail related items to. I think it could be really, really fun if 
you know, I could do mail opening thingies, like letters. I love reading letters. I love reading letters. Oh my gosh, I'm really cool. I love reading letters and who doesn't love getting mail? I mean, it's mail. I am just gonna try it out for three months because I don't wanna be conceited and, you know, purchase the whole year and then not get anything and, you know, cobwebs and you know, dust collecting in there. So I'm just doing the three month thing and if it works, then that's great. And if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work, you know? Uh, so I, well, I'm getting the two fan related items, but if I get more, I'll keep it for longer. I will put the address in the description section of this video if you guys want to send things. So yeah, there's that. And also, you can subscribe to me on this channel, you can like this video for more videos like this one in the future. Of course, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, that's where I post all of the pictures of my blooming orchids first, and then I'll make a video about it. I just want to say I love you guys very much, and to make a long story short, 